सर एक बार ये देख लीजिए कि दोनों साइड वीडियो की क्वालिटी ठीक आ रही है ना या ओके राइट ओके सर सर या गो एड कर्नल त्याग भी रघावा सर स्वागत है आपका मेरे चैनल हर्षित लुथरा पर और ये मेरे लिए बहुत बड़ा मूवमेंट है कि आप एक इंडियन आर्मी का ऑफिसर कर्नल आज मेरे चैनल पर है तो मेरे को बहुत खुशी हो रही है कि आप मेरे चैनल पर हो तो सबसे पहले बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया सर और आप कैसा फील कर रहे हो सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हर्षित थैंक यू सो मच दैट यू डिसाइडेड टू ब्रिंग ऑन एन आर्मी ऑफिसर ऑन योर चैनल एंड i am also happy that an engineering graduate of communication is keen on doing such podcast wherein he wanted to bring in army of sound his channel thank you so much thank you sir to so, sir sabse pehle mere viewers aapke bare mein thoda sa janna chahenge waise to aapke bare mein matlab idea sabko mil hi gaya but thoda sa apni life journey ke bare mein bata do to sahi rahega to who is colonel raghava sir yeah it is uh, not raghava it is raghav raghav so let me correct you right in the beginning okay uh, anyway so uh, harshit uh, you see uh, i am from a very humble background mm-hmm. uh, rather you can say the farmers family so mera janm aur meri schooling district aligarh mein ek tehsil hai atroli and wahan ek chhota sa gaon hai kakitha that is the place where i was born and brought up and i studied did my schooling till 12th class and thereafter uh, i had some relative who was in army that time he was captain when i was growing i was maybe 8th or 9th class so i was pretty impressed the way he used to conduct he used to dress up he used to speak uh, one can say that uh, if he is standing uh, among the 100 people you can pinpoint that this gentleman is from a different background and different organization yeah. so that was the uh, one uh, uh, inspiration when i whenever i saw him mm. so somewhere back of the mind was there yeah this organization uh, come what may kabhi mauka milega to we will also get into that yeah. and uh, by the time when i came in the 10th class uh, it was already a uh, 12th class was the uh, basic qualification for appearing into the nd examination national defense academy yeah so uh, he was my fufaji who uh, was that time captain so he sent me across that uh, application form from upsc for the nda and i did try twice uh, but both the time i was not successful despite that i did very well i was a very uh i must say uh, middle the student uh, not um, uh, means I, i i was topper in my schools and college and everything was there but despite that i could not uh, succeed in the nd examination but that thought always remain in the mind that uh, uh, that the one of the uh, job or one of the profession which i want to do is the best is that army officer then when it didn't happen um, uh even after the 12th class because that basic qualification was the 12th and i tried and could not make it then i thought of doing the engineering in engineering also that time you know uh, there were very few options for the private it used to be only the uh, government colleges like rurki engineering and uh, aligarh muslim university and all yeah so i appeared for the first time but there also i could not succeed mm-hmm. so somehow the the dream which i was carrying of becoming an army officer oblique class 1 officer mm. uh, wasn't seem to be happening very soon mm. so instead of uh, wasting a year after year the people try again and again what i did i took a admission into my 3 year engineering uh, diploma course okay and there uh, with my background academic background which uh, i was quite uh, brilliant i must say compared to the others in my till 12th class so i excelled very well in my diploma where i topped into diploma i was third in the up board of technical education and uh, i got all the prizes of that institute senior best of the institute even i became a general secretary 
and that is the way i did my schooling and the diploma thereafter uh, i went on working i worked in the hindustan aeronautics limited and uh, department of electronics delhi and during this period only because any class 1 service if you want you need to be graduated initially so i did my graduation in electronics and telecommunication while working mm. and once i passed that uh, that exam by 1985 1979 or so i did my 12th and then 1983 i did my diploma and within 2 years i completed my graduation in electronics from delhi and that is something called iet institution of electronics and telecom engineers mm. and that is when i applied for uh, this again army things when i saw the advertisement and uh, finally uh, in the first attempt i made it and that's the history great wow so like aapki kafi ek motivating story hai like failures se fir aapne bahut handle kara aur fir uske baad aapne मतलब हार नहीं मानने जो एक वो होता है स्पिरिट होते हैं इंडियन आर्मी की वो आपके अंदर झलकती है सर आपकी स्टार्टिंग से ही और सर तो मैं यही पूछना चाहूंगा कि लाइक सबसे पहले लोगों को पता लगता है कि इंडियन सोल्जर्स इंडियन आर्मी का ये काम होता है कि सरहद पर खड़े होना या फिर लोगों की सेवा करना बट एक एक्चुअल ऑफिसर ही बता सकता है कि एक्चुअल में उनका काम क्या होता है थोड़ा सा उनकी वर्क एरिया वर्क लाइफ के बारे में अगर आप बता दो तो ज्यादा समझ आएगा uh harshit what i will say is that joining army and especially working as an officer in the army it's not a only a job it is a way of life it is basically how you live the life and the life that to wonderful life okay so uh see the work is one side but what you are actually doing is you are uh morning you are getting up you are going for the pt then after that you go to office say for, from 8 o'clock to the 2 o'clock do your office work if it is exercise you do the exercises uh, other thing exercise i am doing operational exercises and the evening again uh, you come back have lunch a uh, little uh, uh, rest and there after come back in the evening again for the uh, games and sports okay and then again you sit in the office and you do the office work and other thing so you see this is the only organization i don't think there is any other organization in india or anywhere where you are paid for keeping yourself fit what i mean to say that government gives you special time that to keep yourself fit that to do the pt in the morning then play games in the evening <laughs> which organization in this uh, corporate gives you that time so oh. that is the time for yourself to keep in fit yeah so uh, beside the office work beside your work you are keeping yourself fit for that one day which will come or which never comes most of the time never comes the war doesn't happen every time and again war happens once in a lifetime and if you see the war you are a lucky one okay so what i'm saying is it's a holistic living of life mm. you are looking after your health so holistically and you keep fit so that is the work culture uh, in the army and uh, otherwise you are made to do everything you do technical things you do non technical things you do office work you do adventures you do play games you play pt everything so there is nothing which you are not exposed to yeah. whatever your um, uh, uh, ambitions or whatever your uh, uh, you want to do in the life the every possible thing is available in the army or i must say in the defense it is up to you what you want to do or what where you want to excel so like jaise aapne itni sari baatein batayi hai ki physically aapko fit rakha jata hai aur waise bhi hota hai to sir like mere ko aisa lagta hai ki physically fit hona aur sath mein mentally fit hona bhi zaruri hota hai ek indian army ko join karne ke liye ek person ke liye to sir uske bare mein thoda sa bata sakte ho ki wo banda agar join karna chahta hai to wo kaisa kar sakte hai kaise kar sakte hai apne aap ko mentally bhi fit aur physically fit so arshit it is like this you see uh, when you as a student want to join that yeah uh, first thing is that of course there is no shortcut uh, uh, rather than being the physically fit physically fit though you got to be there okay as far as the mentally fitness is concerned that you should have the kind of positive attitude winning yeah. mindset you never have a feeling of failure okay 
you don't uh, uh, fear of failure. You ne should never have that fear of failure. You should have a, that kind of uh, aggressive attitude of achieving something, achieving something and doing something. So if you have that kind of attributes, then of course you are proactive. Okay, you are integral to the system. Your integrity of the highest order. These are some of the things. Discipline. These are some of the basic thing. Uh, the one person when you go for a selection of the army, they look for it. You see what is there is. It is something like uh, when you go for a uh, whether written exam or go for a uh, SSB service selection board. They are looking for a something like a torch, you know, torch. So what a torch that you imagine the torch is a person who is going to appear for examination. Mm. You are not an officer. You are not going as an officer when you are going for the exam or for the SSB. Mm. But you are a person who can be made officer, mm. who can be converted into the academy after the training as an officer. Mm. So torch, khali torch hai. Usme cell dal diya apne. और ऑन कर दिया तो बत्ती जल गई ओके तो आप खाली टॉर्च की जगह आ रहे सेल जो है वो एकेडमी में जाके डाल दिए जाते हैं आपको ट्रेन किया जाता है एंड देन यू बिकम अ परफेक्ट ऑफिसर ओके सो एज स्टूडेंट हु आर एस्पायरिंग टू बी दे गो विद द ओपन माइंड ओके नो बैगेज नो बायसेस नथिंग दे जस्ट गो विद द ओपन माइंड एज अ क्लीन स्टूडेंट एंड पुट ऑल योर बेस्ट गिव योर बेस्ट ओके and uh, physical fitness mental fitness is that read the books read good books okay read good so keep yourself abreast with the general knowledge keep abreast with your what is happening around you you should have an analytical mind if you have all these things together which are required to be uh, checked uh, during the ssb uh, i am sure you uh, one can cut out for that uh, being an officer sir so, like maine aisa suna hai ki indian army के जो पर्सन होते हैं सोल्जर्स होते हैं वो स्ट्रिक्ट होते हैं और वेल डिसिप्लिन होते हैं अपनी लाइफ में तो ये जो उनकी स्ट्रिक्टनेस होती है डिसिप्लिन होती है ये उनकी जॉब से आती है मतलब उनके जो वर्क एरिया है जहाँ वो कॉर्पोरेट मतलब उनका जो काम है उस लाइफ से आती है उससे पहले से ही उनके मतलब डिसिप्लिन होते हैं उनकी लाइफ में तो आप उस पर थोड़ा सा बता दो सी जिंदगी में डिसिप्लिन होना बहुत जरूरी है it's yeah. not only the army that uh, you have to be disciplined if you are not disciplined in your school time or college time can you perform can you get a good grades can oh. you do can you excel you can't what is discipline discipline is that you get up in time mm. you do your things in time you prepare yourself well in time okay whatever you are supposed to do everything you should do well okay mm. that is the discipline okay keep yourself fit keep yourself uh, uh, engaged in the things which you are required to do so if you follow all these things that's a discipline now yeah. when you join the army see you can't afford to be uh, in this in discipline or missing anything which you are supposed to do because army means there is a life and death okay yeah. if you don't take action in time if you are not disciplined yeah. then naturally the some you will lose the lives or the the people who are in your team they will lose the life yeah. okay so uh, so the discipline even the second if you miss out on something you will lose the life so discipline is not something that only army person should have anybody for that matter whether you are in the public sector private sector or in the army or even you are a student if you are disciplined you will reap the rewards if you respect the time you will reap the rewards okay mm -hmm. so uh, discipline is something that which is yes army it become all the more important because if you are not disciplined For example, you are on a firing range, okay, mm -hmm. and your staff is telling that by uh, firing, ki jo uh, naal hai uh, banduk ki usko left right nahi karna hai. Or apne galti se bhi, despite his telling you you did did it left and there are your colleagues are there, you will kill somebody. <laughs> why, why you have to be strict there? Because uh, if you are not strict, people yeah. bound to commit mistakes. Okay, yeah. so uh, you become strict, you get punishment only because of that. so that you don't commit such a blunder by which you lose the life and mm. that is why it is all the more important to be uh, very strict and disciplined into the army sir like ye question aapke liye thoda personal hai ki like jaise jab aap combat ban gaye the matlab aapne jab army join kar li thi aur uske baad jab aap wapas ek bar ghar aa rahe the to wo moment kaisi thi aapke liye ki like ab main apne ghar ja raha hu family members ki kya thi neighbors ki kya thi aapke तो उसको थोड़ा सा एक्सप्लेन करना सर क्योंकि वो मूवमेंट में ऐसा लगता है बहुत ही प्रीशियस मूवमेंट होती है एक पर्सन की लाइफ में
एक सोल्जर की लाइफ में या सो आई जस्ट गिव यू लिटिल बैकग्राउंड से यू सी फर्स्ट टाइम आई ट्राई टू अपीयर फॉर दिस एनडीए एग्जाम दैट वर 1979 या ओके एंड 1979 1980 बोथ ईयर आई ट्राइड एंड आई कुड नॉट सक्सेस सो इट वाज अ फेलियर बट आई वाज नॉट सी द फेलियर इज समथिंग व्हिच अनलेस यू क्विट यू आर नॉट अ फेलियर यू कैन कंटिन्यू okay if you are continuing and you keep putting on effort that is not a failure okay so i was continuing that and i had back of mind i will do it so once i have done my graduation and i appeared for this before that i have appeared for a civil service examination also when i was working in delhi uh, in the department of electronics okay because immediately after my diploma i worked in hl nasik uh, around 2 years Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and then uh, I moved on, uh, uh, came to Delhi, and was, was working for one year in uh, Department of Electronics. And that period of time only, I appeared for civil service exam, that is preliminary examination, and also uh, I have uh, applied for this SSB of the Army. Mm. So preliminary, I have appeared. SSB, I have gone there, and in the meantime, I got selected. Okay, when I got selected, uh, I went to academy. so you come back after 6 month okay mm. but you know that uh, i was so ambitious that time because uh, uh, i was very used to that i try one job uh, and then second job as i mentioned to you in addition to this hl and uh, department i got through even tata institute of fundamental research i got through in railways but you can work one uh, one place at a time mm. so i carried all my mains book i bought all the mains book from delhi and carried to uh, indian military academy mm. that i will try appearing for the civil services main examination from there yeah okay though i was uh, under training there but you know indian military academy you don't know when the morning and when is the evening <laughs> okay yeah okay so uh, then i thought ke okay, enough is enough uh, even if i can make it to the civil services but not sure i can make next time make it to the army again because the kind of selection process is there in the army whether it is medical whether it is ssb no other organization conduct such a tough uh, procedure of selection okay you go undergo 5 days of ssb then another 7 days for your medical every part of your body is checked every part so then i decided ki i think i am cut out for this now and nothing else to be tried and i brought back my all the books and kept it at home <laughs> my grandmother was uh, that time uh, alive and uh, when i came back they were all were pretty very happy and uh, of course my mother when i went to join she never wanted me to join because i was the only son yeah. okay and uh, once i insisted that because that was my dream and i wanted to join then finally she said that okay if you are going there do join but mm. don't change your habits yeah and that was the one thing because they were scared of that once you reach there you will start smoking you will start drinking yeah. you will start doing everything so i promised that and uh, of course uh, i was not going to do that because uh, i never had such kind of habits uh, even before going there mm. so i could have not started uh, all of a sudden mm. and i maintained that throughout my army career i remain pro vegetarian i remain non smoker non drinker everything uh, means as it is and that promise which i kept with my mother i kept it so that is the way i came back six month and kept my books and again went for this and uh, no regrets wonderful evening i had in the army throughout for 24 years so like they say aapki jo indian army jab aapne join kiya tha एट द एज एट द टाइम ऑफ 1985 और जो आप 2022 की आर्मी ऑफिसर्स को देखते हो तो आपको क्या क्या चेंजेस लगते हैं या कि लाइक ये हमारे टाइम में नहीं थे या फिर जो आजकल के यूथ सोल्जर्स बन रहे हैं तो उनके अंदर आप क्या मेंटेलिटी देखते हो उनकी तो उस पर थोड़ा सा एक्सप्लेन कर दो कि लाइक आपकी मेंटेलिटी क्या रहती थी और आपकी मेंटेलिटी क्या सी हर से देयर इज नॉट मच ऑफ अ चेंज आर्मी इथोस रिमेन द सेम ओके once you enter into the army uh, then everyone uh, become a same everyone uh, start thinking in the same line okay mm. there is a credo uh, in the academy which is uh, taught to every one of us okay yeah. 
when he joined the army and that credo says that uh, uh, your country is always first mm -hmm. forever okay thereafter come the man which you command yeah. and thereafter your welfare and yourself so mm -hmm. you come to the third number so those ethos are developed in everyone okay so whatever you are outside whether today or 20 years back mm -hmm. or 30 years back or 40 years back mm -hmm. once you reach there or once you are trained everybody becomes same okay you come from any background you come from anywhere any area of the country okay you have studied anywhere then your ethos are same and once your ethos are same then definitely you know that your religion your everything become that olive green uniform so everybody becomes same yeah. the only difference which has happened now uh, of late is that now the army has become a highly technical Earlier it was uh, uh, those equipments. Of course, yeah. but, uh, we were working with the same equipment. Now everything is uh, digital, uh, digitalized, yeah. and everything is highly uh, technical. Then there is this, uh, complete uh, automation of uh, we weapon systems. So those are the things which have changed now. Mm -hmm. And uh, now the everywhere, including the infantry or any other arms and services, a lot of technical graduates are joining. Uh, the, even the computer science and there is a need of that because you need that kind of people now who are very techno savvy and uh, they are doing so that is the only difference otherwise the army ethos will remain the same will, uh, they are still same and there is no change in that yeah. so sir like aapki jo journey thi ya aapki jo jab job thi soldier ki to aapko war mein bhi jana pada hoga aur jaise death experiences or life risk के बारे में आप क्या कहना चाहोगे कि वो हर टाइम एक सोल्जर के माइंड में रहता है या फिर जो मतलब माइंडसेट के बारे में अगर मैं बात करूं थोड़ी सी सोल्जर की तो वो क्या होता है सो लेट मी टेल यू सी वंस यू हैव गॉन थ्रू द ट्रेनिंग ना सी फियर इज समथिंग व्हिच इज इट्स ए इमोशनल इट्स ए इमोशन एवरीबॉडी हैज दैट फियर ऑफ डेथ ओके इट्स नॉट दैट एवरीबॉडी डजंट हैव अ फियर ऑफ डेथ बट यू नो करेज इज नॉट समथिंग व्हिच इज अपोजिट ऑफ फियर Hmm. courage is something you take action in the presence of fear yeah. okay when you take action in the presence of fear that is the courage okay hmm. so army once you have gone through the training once you remain in the unit when you do the training and exercise you be you have you are a courageous you take courageous so whatever fear is there even if there is a fear you take action in the presence of that fear yeah. and then the fear goes away you know what is fear fear is false evidence appearing real 99% fear never comes true okay 99% there is no fear which comes true it's all a uh, uh, something in the mind which is made you mm. keep thinking overthinking and then it's a fear is there but you take that action in the presence of fear that fear disappear okay mm. so even during the war when you have a mission mm. and you have a aim or you have a goal that i have to do that that mm. time you forget about everything that see you are you are you are destined for that yeah. you are ready to sacrifice yourself to achieve yeah. in the interest of your nation yeah. okay so there is no reason that you should not do your uh, task or you should not uh, take action uh, mm. just because that you are fearful no that is where the uh, courage comes and everyone in the army once uh, he has been trained and his training has been uh, perfect and he knows his job well then there is no question of fear coming in and yeah. everybody takes action and then you achieve your goals yeah so sir aapki family ka kya matlab unke man mein to ek dar rehta hai kyunki wo to matlab jo soldiers ki training hoti hai aur uske unse nahi guzre hote to unko aapki family ko aapke liye roz chinta hoti rehti hogi to wo aapko kai bar batate bhi honge ki like aaj hamare ko aapki chinta ho rahi thi ya kuch मतलब आप पे जा रहे हो तो आप they are always prepared there are cases there are cases where the lady wife just married yeah had a two year child yeah okay okay and the husband died in the action yeah 
and what she should have done she did not do that ki she just gone back in the corner of the house and she started crying and then the whole life she is crying no there have been cases that within the first anniversary death anniversary of her husband she joined the army back she herself become an army officer and she served the country so that is kind of the family uh, we have mm-hmm. so the lady wives or the families of army officer uh, who so were are there they are very strong they yeah. are the they are the like a second wheel of the chariot okay they run the household when husband is not there when the family uh, when he is uh, in the operation it is the family who takes care of everything yeah and they are emotionally mentally uh, they are very tough very tough so it's not that they will uh, every time call you and disturb you nothing like that nothing like that of course as i said fear is always a emotion yeah but that doesn't stop you from taking the action what you are supposed to take in the interest of the nation there have been cases where the families have come out much stronger even after the worst of the situation uh, which has happened to the husbands so i think emotional intelligence is how much necessary for a soldier to aap us pe kya sochte ho it's very important it's very this is one of the thing which is checked during the uh, uh, this ssb exam how emotionally you are strong let me give you just one uh, incident you know uh, that you see uh, there is a one formula mm-hmm. e plus r is equal to o now how it works e is the event and r is reaction oblique response and o is outcome now this event you know in, in the environment you can't stop the events events are happening every second yeah something or else is always happening yeah which you can't control yeah. okay those events could be man made those mm. events could be natural events yeah. okay yeah. those are not under your control okay mm. so event will continue now mm. what is um, uh, which is under control is plus r that mm. r is reaction or response yeah. now reaction is something when you react the outcome may not be the desired one yeah but if you respond to the event mm. then the outcome will be the desired one let me give an example for example yeah you are uh, driving mm. and suddenly you met with an accident mm. it is not your mistake mm. the two wheeler guy is he was driving rashly and yeah. met with the accident now there are two ways of it you get out of that you see that what damage has been done okay what this guy has been hurt you try to explain him take him to the uh, in the car and go and mm. admit him in the yeah. hospital so that yeah. he get recovered because he has been injured mm. okay that is the right response because yeah. you have controlled the situation and the outcome will be better yeah okay there will not be further complication mm. but the reaction is that you have hit let it be his mistake mm. but you run away from there mm. you reacted in a way that selfish way that you run away mm. but that guy who has been hit because of his mistake only he is injured you mm. may lose life because mm. he did not get a right treatment at the right time mm. that is the way you reacted so response is something when you act responsibly then the outcome will always be the one which is desired mm. but if you react then the outcome may be negative and which you don't desire it so that is where the emotions come that is where the emotions so that is the emotional intelligence how good you are in controlling your emotions instead of fighting at that point of time you took an action to save the life yeah. okay that is what the emotional intelligence is so how well you can channelize your emotional energy in doing something good that is your emotional intelligence wow so like 
इंडियन आर्मी में बहुत सारी पोस्ट होती है लाइक कर्नल की जैसे आप कर्नल रहे हो लेफ्टिनेंट की जनरल की कैप्टन की ब्रिगेडियर की तो इन सब की ये पोस्ट कैसे कैसे डिफर करती है और इनका वर्क क्या होता है मतलब कौन किसको लीड करता है जैसे कैप्टन का काम क्या होता है या फिर कर्नल का काम क्या होता है तो थोड़ा सा इनपे बता दो सर सी देर इज नॉट मच ऑफ ए डिफरेंस इन दर्क वर्क इज एवरी वन इज दैट यू हैव टू सेफ गार्ड योर कंट्री ओके यू आर आर्म आर्म फोर्सेज आर्म फोर्सेज मीन your action should be to in the interest of that adversaries should not be able to hurt you or harm you yes sir that is written this thing for everyone whether lieutenant captain major these are the ranks that as you grow as you grow your responsibility increases mm. for example if you are lieutenant you will be commanding maybe 10 people okay you are responsible for the lives of 10 people and you are responsible to execute the mission which is tenable by 10 people and one officer okay so as an officer you are responsible for their lives also and at the same time to achieve the mission also wow. achieve the goal okay when you become a captain so the 10 people is a section level when you achieve become a captain then you are at his platoon level so maybe 30 okay 30 person then you become a responsible for 30 people and you will be given the task which is tenable by 30 people mm. or platoon level mm. okay then you become a major then you are commanding a company okay then bigger troops okay then you become a colonel you are commanding a battalion where you are responsible for 1000 people mm. so the organization keep increasing or bigger and bigger the number of people you are responsible for their welfare their uh, task or execution of task that keep increasing okay it doesn't uh, uh, affect uh, the basic fundamental task of yours that you have to perform your duties in such a way that that whatever your area of responsibility or whatever your responsibility that you should implement or that you should perform so as you grow in the service as you grow in the uh, ranks your responsibility keep increasing mm-hmm. authority also keep increasing but the responsibility is more when yes. you become a brigadier then you will have three battalions the co is a commanding officer of a battalion brigadier is commanding officer of three battalions so mm. three cos will report to the brigadier mm. similarly for a one co commanding officer that is colonel there will be three majors mm. or majors are more but there will be three or four company mm. okay there are other appointment similarly under one major there may be three four captains mm. one captain there may be two three lieutenants mm. it is like this hierarchy goes on when become a major general then will be three brigadiers under him or three brigades will be under him mm. okay likewise you keep growing your responsibility grows your uh, job requirement grows but at the same time your rank also grows so that is the only uh, thing otherwise basic responsibility of defending mm. your area of responsibility remain the same like फूड सप्लाई के बारे में आप क्या कहोगे जैसे लाइक वॉर का टाइम होता है तो फूड सप्लाई कितनी मतलब आपकी कैसी रहती है और मतलब आपको खाना कैसे पहुंच पाता है और कितने कितने दिन तक आपको भूखा भी रहना पड़ सकता है मतलब एक सोल्जर को तो आप इसको बता सकते हैं सी इन जनरल द आर्मी इज द बेस्ट लॉजिस्टिकली मेंटेन्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बेस्ट वेयरएवर यू आर योर फूड विल रीच and not only that best of the food you will reach mm. you get everything wherever you are okay wherever you are whether you are on the top of a hill or mountain or whether you are in jungles or whether you are in desert the supply will always be there mm. okay army moves on the stomach okay you can't remain unfed to fight the war okay 
but there are situations there are situations i give you an example of my detachment where i was posted way back in 1991 this detachment was uh, at the height of around 10000 feet but the kind of severity was there uh, inclement weather it used to experience uh, uh, snowfall up to the level of 10 feet more than 10 feet snowfall in the winter time okay so now to reach that place it you can only walk you can't go by road so from the road head to uh, reach to the detachment uh, location you have to walk at least for 3 hours and this climb used to be 70 to 80 degree that was the kind of climb so what used to be done because uh, in the winter uh, the road becomes so uh, slippery because of the snowfall and you can't uh, uh, walk on that yeah. so then winter stocking is done yeah. i am telling you the answer or to the question that what you do in such a scenario yeah. so that winter stocking is done with the help of mules jo ghoda khachar unki un par laga ke leke jate hain aur wahan ja ke shaam store you winter stock for the next 6 month 6 month you are okay because yeah. there is no snow so you can walk and this thing so during those 6 month you stock the ration for another 6 month of winter okay because the first the snow will fall and then snow will melt so all together it become 5 to 6 month before the area becomes clean so that is the time you stock it and then you use it so there are very uh, various ways and means of uh, uh, you get certain tinned items mm-hmm. like if it is a vegetarian so tinned item with drdo prepares it Mm. okay mm. and uh, those are the thing which are used now there is another organization or uh, which is called uh, special forces mm. their officers and jawans sometimes they uh, go and do the operation in the enemy territory mm. now that time uh, you may not have a sufficient food because everything has to be on the body mm. and you may run out of that um, uh, ration whatever is required because you may get stuck there so that time you are taught mm. how to kill snake mm. make a meat of it how yeah. to kill other uh, things or how to survive on the this is called uh, jungle survival mm. jungle mein kaise survive karna hai wo that everything is taught that is all part of the training and they do survive that is all wonderful learnings we have gone all gone through that but those who are special forces they go very rigorously they are very mentally tough they're superb in the mental toughness and they know how to survive for the months together so like aap ki life mein matlab jo ek soldier ki life hoti hai wo kafi kafi sare challenges bhari hoti hai to like mental health aap banana seekh jate ho apni jo mentality hai usko banana seekh jate ho mental health ko batana seekh jate ho to wahi aap aapne kaise matlab develop kare aur यूथ को आप थोड़ा एडवाइस कर दो इसके बारे मेंटल हेल्थ को मेंटेन करने के बारे में तो उसे कहेंगे सर सी बड़ी सिंपल थिंग हरसेत फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट सी हेल्थ देर आर फोर काइंड ऑफ हेल्थ इफ एन यू टॉक अबाउट द हेल्थ फर्स्ट इज योर फिजिकल हेल्थ देन इज योर मेंटल हेल्थ देन इज योर सोशल हेल्थ एंड देयर आफ्टर इट इज ए स्पिरिचुअल हेल्थ so what is physical health physical health is that you keep yourself fit okay fit in the sense you don't have any bodily problem you are not overweight you are physically tough you are element free no disease that is your physical fitness you can run you can jog you can walk okay so these are the kind of things which are done in army regularly which we call it a ppt and bpet Mm-hmm. ppt is the physical training okay bpt is battle proficiency training where you are with the weight behind and the weapon you are made to run and do all the exercise the obstacle everything is you are made to do mm-hmm. so that takes care of your physical fitness mm-hmm. now how you keep your mentally uh, strong mm-hmm. to keep your mentally strong you sh- should read the good literature you should read the good literature self development books mm-hmm. you know mind in a day every normal human being 
gets at least 80,000 thoughts per day. Yeah. 80,000 thoughts. And out of 80,000 thoughts, 70 to 80 percent are negative thoughts. 70 to 80 percent are negative thoughts. Now, if you remove this negativity or negative thoughts, you will be mentally very fit. How do you do that? For doing that, you should read a literature which motivates you, inspires you, which is self-developed you. Okay. Read those kind of books and literature. Inspiring. Okay. Yes. Also, do some exercise of gratitude. Mm. Okay. Be grateful that whatever you are today because of people who has helped you, your parents, yeah. your gurus, your friends, your colleagues, yeah. everybody contributes to what your life. So be grateful to them. Mm. Okay. Then visualize or imagine yourself that what you want to achieve in life. Mm. Okay. Then of course, exercise physically fit to our mentally fit may contribute. Mm. Then read the literature. So this is the basically the giver. Giver is the formula to keep yourself mentally fit. Giver is gratitude. I is for imagine yourself, whatever you want to become, dreams. V is visualize yourself to become like that. E is do exercises. And R is read everything, good things. So this giver, G-I-V-E-R, will help you to keeping you mentally fit. Then it comes your uh, 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 social health. Social health means keep a good relation with everyone around you. Okay. Then emotional health. I told you the already the formula E plus R is equal, equal to maintain yeah. that. If you can maintain that, uh, nobody can beat you emotionally. And finally, the spiritual health. Do something good every day to some somebody. Wow. Help someone. Yeah. Whatever way, not necessarily monetarily. You can help anyway. Yes, sir. And if you follow this, all these things, you will be mentally tough. Physical fitness, mental fitness, spiritual yes. fitness, emotional fitness, and your uh, sure. uh, social fitness. If you are everything you have, you become mentally tough. So like job leadership person life matter soldiers leadership ordinary person over the time develop so leadership develop soldier develop see leadership में, there is a word lead yeah L E A D. Yeah. So L is for learning. You are always in the learning mode. You always learn. Okay. L is for learn. Then E is empathy. You are empathetic towards your team members. Mm. Okay. Then A is for Accept. Accept the people as they are. Yeah. Then develop them, train them the way you want. Okay? And the D is that you should have a decision-making power. So that is the lead. Okay? If you follow this, then you will become an effective leader. So leader, first of all, he is a dream student. He always learns. He takes care of his team. Okay. He trains them. He trains them well before any education or task. And there is a difference between the leader and the manager. So leader is always in the front. Whatever he wants you to do as a team member, he will be in the front. He will not be behind that you go first and then I will follow. No. Leader will always be in the lead, in the front. Where the manager in the corporate will say, you go and do it, I am sitting watching here. Okay. That is not the case in the leadership. Leadership is that 
if I have to fight the enemy, I will be in the first in the front. I will be ready to sacrifice my life first. Mm. Then I will ask my team member to come and along with me. And then only they follow you. They follow you blindly mm. because you are the leader. Yeah. They follow you blindly. You are the influencer. On the one word of command of yours, they can sacrifice their life. Yeah. That is the leader. So like decision making जैसे आपने बात कही है तो वो soldiers के लिए panic time है जब आपको ये होता है कि अब क्या choose करें एकदम से stuck नहीं करता और हर एक person वहाँ पर stuck हो जाता है कि यार इस time पे क्या decision लेना चाहिए था हमारे को तो वो decision making के बारे में थोड़ा सा समझाओ see uh, I just tell you I tell you one incident then you will better understand that how we call it a crisis management okay when the crisis come and you know crisis is a uh, latin word mm. okay and if you see the meaning of crisis google it or you see in the dictionary it's a point of decision mm. okay crisis is a point of decision mm. literal meaning of this word so i was uh, way back in 1988 i was a part of an exercise i was doing an exercise okay and this exercise because i was a communication engineer so uh, i was responsible as a captain that time mm. uh, for a communication chain starting from place called batinda batinda in punjab to vikaner in rajasthan mm. so there were around uh, maybe uh, 10 to 12 uh, repeater stations mm. and each repeater station of that communication it is like a something cell site aajkal jo mobile ki cell hoti hai na ki yahan node lag gaya ek wahan node lag gaya tower jise aap bolte ho okay to waise hi that detachment hota raha so har 25 km 20 km mein ek detachment where one vehicle or two vehicle with the antenna and the communication equipment and likewise uh, uh, and i was uh, stationed at in between somewhere where i used to uh, supervise or you can say responsible for the entire chain of communication and i used to visit them in the evening uh, uh, morning to evening uh, mm. every detachment one by one okay mm. so when i reached one of the detachment in uh, that chain uh, of communication mm. and that was somewhere uh, in the june it was middle of uh, summer and where the temperature was uh, up to the extent of 50 degree or so okay in the desert okay so when i reached that detachment somewhere in the evening when the sun was just about to set okay it was going to be little dark i was in the jeep i reached the detachment that mm. vehicle of the detachment was maybe uh, around 15 meter from me the distance between my jeep where i parked my jeep and where the vehicle was there 15 meter there was towards my right there was another vehicle mm. it was of the fuel vehicle mm. where the diesel was there petrol was there and it was a smaller vehicle which we call it a one ton mm. and that where the communication equipment there that vehicle is called three ton bigger mm. truck mm. and this one ton is a smaller truck where the fuel was there and this fuel was being offloaded from this vehicle to into the drums mm. because that storage was the drums only in the de- desert and from that they use it for those communicate because the communication vehicle that communication used to run 24 by 7 because it is the exercise yeah. and if you don't run it because there is no electricity anything only generators used to run and that require a fuel so this fuel was being unloaded from this smaller vehicle one ton for that bigger vehicle three ton and two three jawans were helping each other mm. and how they were doing it they were just pouring from the drums to the another uh, container which was kept on the ground now one jawan who was watching this whole exercise he saw that uh, fuel is fuel freezing means bikhar raha tha idhar udhar so just to help that ke nahi bikhre aur andhera ho raha tha dheeme dheeme so he came with the lantern you know the lantern that kerosene ah yeah yeah lantern okay kerosene wala aur wo that is given you for the night mein to work when you don't have a light and all mm-hmm. so he came With that lantern to show them, भाई के जो fuel गिर रहा है वो न गिरे क्योंकि अंधेरा हो रहा था. But he didn't realize that because of that heat summer, mm. 
so much heat there were a lot of fumes in the environment yeah okay fumes of the diesel and the uh, petrol yeah. and the moment he reached and i was there 10 meter away i was just watching because the senior uh, jawan who came to uh, give me the report that this is what is happening and i am watching that this guy is going there and the moment he reached there that place where the uh, fuel was being offloaded it caught fire hmm. it caught fire massive fire yeah because the fumes were there all around yeah. the environment and, and the moment it was on fire everybody started running hmm. there were 10 15 jawan all started running away from that and the vehicle and i am watching there it's a fraction of second i took a decision that i have though everyone was running away from the vehicle i ran toward the vehicle and it came into my mind that uh, uh, immediately that since it was a desert so there was sand all around so i started throwing sand myself and at the same time i started exhorting the, all the people or kept on shouting ke wapas aao wapas aao red dalo red dalo mm-hmm. and when i did this everybody came running back and then everybody started throwing sand from all direction and finally the fire was extinguished yeah now this is called crisis how to take a decision in the crisis mm. had i also run away from that uh, that point of time then the entire vehicle would have been burnt mm. including that communication vehicle maybe that even one or chap would have lost life Mm. and i would have court martial i would have not be sitting in front of you like this mm. okay so this is called the crisis point the point of decision so when you are at a point of decision if this is the point of decision from point of decision always two ways goes one is right another is left now if you take the right path you will be the winner if you take the left path you will be the loser and that we call it a crisis management and that wisdom comes when you are mentally strong you are proactive you are positive and you know your job hmm. yeah. sir aapne kaafi kuch cheeze batayi but ek mere yahan par ek aur question aa raha hai ki strategies banana bahut zaruri hota hai like agar aapko war mein jana hai to aap puri pre plan karke jaate ho ki ha hum ye kar rahe honge hum wo kar rahe honge बट कई बार स्ट्रेटेजीज को आपको तोड़ना भी पड़ जाता है लाइक like, अगर कुछ अनएक्सपेक्टेड आपके साथ हो जाए तो आप कुछ और एक्शन भी लेने पड़ते हैं तो स्ट्रेटेजीज की इम्पोर्टेंस क्या है और फिर जब आपको अनएक्सपेक्टेड स्ट्रेटेजीज लाने पड़ती है अनएक्सपेक्टेड डिसीजन लेने पड़ते हैं तो वो कैसे करें तो वो बता देते हैं सो हर से इट इज लाइक दिस वॉट स्ट्रेटी यू आर कॉलिंग इट वी कॉल इट प्लानिंग ओके प्लानिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट and this planning when you go for any operations or for any war or any uh, exercise or anything you plan the things well in advance to the minutest of detail you plan minutest of the detail mm. you do a uh, war gaming making the sand models of that area you make a sand model and then you plan that yes if enemy is coming from this side and we are going from this side how do we attack how do we defend mm. and which all obstacle will come Yeah. Which also we try to anticipate everything. Mm. First we do it off the map, then we do it by making the sand model. So that practice is done for the months together. Mm. So when you are in the peace time, when you are in the peace time, that is the time you do this exercise only. Mm. You do these plannings only. Mm. When will come that day when you will be required to execute that plan? Mm-hmm. so you do every year this planning exercise every year which is very important okay and those are kept as a uh, you can say that a model that yes if required we will follow this and that brainstorming takes place yeah that brainstorming takes place uh, in the presence of senior officers mm-hmm. who have more experience they mm-hmm. correct you then mm-hmm. okay and then whatever is the combined solution mm-hmm. the democratic way, that solution is taken as a final this thing which is kept as a record in for future if required so that is the planning part now comes the question you go on with that plan mm. but when you reach actual on the ground because the nature mein kuch bhi ho sakta hai 
Nature doesn't go the way you plan it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Real life situation doesn't go the way you plan it. Yeah. Real life में तो कुछ भी बदल सकता है, कभी भी बदल सकता है. Mm. As I showed you this incident of the fire, nobody has thought of that this will happen. Yeah. So real life में you have to be ready for anything. Mm. So the importance of the planning and the training is, if you have trained well during the peace time, or if you have planned well during the peace time, then you are really capable of doing well, mm. even if some unprecedented. Okay, or unknown situation appears, hmm. you can take a corrective action then and there. Yeah. Okay, you can do that, but for that you must have done a good planning, good training during the peace time. Hmm. So there is a quotation. There is a quotation. If you sweat in the peace, okay, the more you sweat in the peace. Less you bleed in the war. यदि आप पीस में पसीना बहाएंगे, चाहे वाइ वाइ वे ऑफ एक्सरसाइज है, वाइ वे ऑफ प्लेइंग है, वाइ वे ऑफ फिजिकल है, वाइ वे ऑफ दिस ट्रेनिंग है, पीस में जितना पसीना बहाएंगे, उतना ही कम खून आपको वार में बहाना पड़ेगा. That is the meaning of this. So what you said is strategy planning is very important to achieve your strategic goals. In life, they say true for the life, true for the war also. Everything which is true for the army or the war or exercise is also true for your life as well. Mm. If life is like a battlefield, mm. yeah. life is like a battlefield. If you want to win that, you win it like a warrior. Sir, you have told me a lot of things, and in my mind, there is another question that. एक प्राउड मोमेंट क्या होती है सोल्जर के लिए और उसकी फैम, उनकी फैमिली के लिए कि जो आपको लगती है सी द प्राउडेस्ट मोमेंट ऑफ एनी सोल्जर इज दैट वट एवर टास्क इज असाइन टू हिम ओके वट एवर टास्क इज असाइन टू हिम इफ ही अचीव दैट टू हिज ओन सेटिस्फेक्शन टू द सेटिस्फेक्शन ऑफ दिज सुपीरियर टू द सेटिस्फेक्शन ऑफ द नेशन okay once he is able to defend the interest of the nation mm. there is nothing proud moment better than that mm. of course whenever you are in the war you are ready to supreme sacrifice mm. but it is not that ki you sacrifice yourself then means by defeating the enemy and if you achieve your goals you achieve your objectives Mm. that is the proudest moment for anybody in the army or defense and that of course for the family also mm. doing okay. your job assigned to you well is the proudest moment yeah so bahut bahut shukriya sir aapne kaafi cheeze batayi aur last mein ek aapse simple question puchna chahunga ki jab aapne apni army ko choda to aapne apne kya kya learning seekhi matlab jo aap apni life implement karte ho तो जो व्यूअर्स हैं वो देख रहे हैं वो भी अपनी लाइफ में इंप्लीमेंट कर सके तो आप क्या एडवाइस करना चाहोगे हर्षित यू आर राइट दैट आई लेफ्ट आर्मी आफ्टर अराउंड इयर्स एंड आई वर्क इन द कॉर्पोरेट फॉर अराउंड थर्टीन इयर्स ओके एंड आई हैव सीन द पीपल इन द कॉपरेट बिकॉज ऑफ लॉर्ड ऑफ इग्नोरेंस सेल्फ लिमिटिंग बिलीफ self sabotaging traits mm. fear of failures fear of mm. judgment these are the things which are bugging them mm. these are the things which is not allowing them to exploit their full potential mm. it doesn't allow them to take full potential because they are not aware that what they don't know they don't know mm. they don't know what they don't know <laughs> okay so this thing which when i realized that and uh, then i thought how to help this community especially uh, this lot mid career professionals because they get into so much involved in their uh, everything around okay maybe job or maybe uh, their family responsibilities uh, 
maybe the children or uh, paying EMI, paying this thing responsibility, but they forget about themselves. They forget about their health. They forget about their life itself. They only live for living. They stop living for life. Yeah. So it's very important that you should live for the life. Yeah. And how you can do that? I have a good suggestion for the people that become a warrior of your life. Yeah. Become a warrior. And what is warrior? That is the acronym W A R R I O R. As I said, that if life is a battlefield, that why don't you fight like a warrior? So in this warrior word, the W is winning mindset. You should have a mind of a winner. Yeah. Never give it up. Okay, never give it up. Then A is attitude of gratitude. Mm. Positive attitude. The next letter R is remove clutter from your life. Mm. The clutter, many things oh. happening around you. The yeah. physical clutter, emotional clutter, or digital clutter. Yeah. Don't unnecessarily waste your energy in the all the time in the mobile and other things. Mm -hmm. Do something which is required. Do use it as a use the technology as a useful tool for you, mm -hmm. not a destructive tool for you. Yeah. Okay. That is removing clutter. Then there could be a mental clutter. Mm -hmm. Keep away from those negative uh, uh, peoples. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is R one R. The second R reinvent yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always see that how you can improve yourself. How you can improve it. This is reinventing yourself. Yeah. Then is the I. Letter number five. That I means be a person who can inspire others. And even get inspired by the people who have achieved more than you. So inspire others who are, you think that they need your help. They need inspiration from you. Mm. So do that kind of thing. And you also get inspired from the people whom you think that they are the role model for you. Yeah. The next letter is O. Overcome your procrastination. Mm. That means that procrastination is equivalent to poverty. Mm. Don't keep delaying the thing, keep postponing the thing. <laughs> because the more you are postponing the thing, more you are losing your opportunities. Yeah. Okay. So overcome your procrastination. The day you will uh, uh, overcome your procrastination, let me assure you, your life will be beautiful. What happens if we do it today, we don't do it tomorrow, we don't do it tomorrow, you lose out all the opportunities of life. Mm. Then next comes last R. And that R is reap the rewards. When you have done all W, A, R, R, I, O, then you have become a version two of yourself. Then you can reap the rewards. Yeah. Celebrate yourself. And then R stands for roti, R O T I. Return on time invested. Mm -hmm. Whatever time you have invested in these six letters, winning mindset, attitude of gratitude, reinvention, and all these things. That investment of time, whatever return you will get, you will reap the rewards of goodness yeah. or becoming virgin. So follow this framework of warrior. You will become a successful and very honored person. So, bohut, bohut shukriya, sir. Aap mere channel par aaye. Aapne kafi kuch cheeze gyan diya. Malab, sir. Indian soldiers, who I heard in my dreams, how they are like, how they are, their mentality is like. Today, after all this conversation, I got a lot of learning. Thank you very much, sir. And, sir, I was just indulging in this podcast. I was like, yes, I mean, there are a lot of things that are now, but we have to see the time. Because there are important meetings. 
सो बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया सर एंड मैं अपने व्यूअर्स को बताना चाहूंगा कि सारे लिंक सर के डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएंगे तो आप एक बार वहां से आप उनसे बात कर सकते हो सर से बात कर सकते हो और बहुत सारी चीजें और पता कर सकते हो एंड सर मैं अगर फ्यूचर में मेरे को फिर से मौका मिला आपसे बात करने का तो सर आपके साथ सेकंड पॉडकास्ट भी करना चाहूंगा सर सो अगर आप इट विल बी माई प्लेजर हर्षित एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट इज यंग लेट और से ग्रेजुएट यू आर डूंग इंजीनियरिंग ग्रेजुएशन एंड यू हैव दिस वंडरफुल growth mindset i must say it's a growth mindset that you are doing such a good job and helping others who will be listening this and they will get lot of value with this your podcast and i must congratulate you for that thank you so much sir so sir yahan par is podcast ko end karte hain sabhi viewers ko bye bye and sir recording ab band kar dete hain